George, thank you for joining us here today. You've been named as a Harvard Business Review uh, 50th ranked CEO in the world, so congratulations. Thank you very much. When you look around the globe and sort of um, at other fellow CEOs, how do you feel the role of a CEO has evolved in the last three to five years? I think increasingly um, we can no longer just look inside to satisfy ourselves, the board, or even just our shareholders. Uh, external stakeholders become more and more important um, and we need to consider how to actually do good from all these perspectives, all their perspectives. Increasingly, um, the CEO has to be an important communicator to tell the story. There's a lot of questions about the role of companies in society. Um, so if we don't explain it well, other people will create the narrative for us and that will then challenge our you know, rightful place in the society. One might say you know, we need to be a bit more politically sensitive, but I would rather say that it is really the narrative that we use and how we can be more forthright, be a step ahead in telling people what is our vision, what we're trying to do, uh, rather than for us to um, sort of step back and let other people describe us. What other skills do you think are important, especially in an Asian context? We're very interested in, in how CEOs in Asia are developing. What I have found is when we hire people from a typical Hong Kong company, the transition that they need to make takes a few months. Mm. They need to be able to have that thought as a leader, to be able to make decisions, uh, not waiting for the chairman to give the nod. Mm. And that is a big step because obviously when you are in the role to have to make decisions, you also have to accept consequences uh, of those decisions. What would uh, you sort of say are the, are the critical things that you've learned or that you've needed to use as skills to get to where you are? I've collected over the years how to manage the different parties that I need to deal with, from the board to external investors, other stakeholders, to manage the team, uh, motivate the team and all that. And I think as you go up the rank, Sometimes you focus maybe on one or two aspects, but really don't have the opportunity to face all the different angles, different perspectives that you need to deal with as soon as you're thrown into the CEO role.